Good morning. Oh, it's still morning. How are everybody doing this morning? I'm just coming on to you. To, we're going to talk about little pink stuff. What pink stuff can do and it will do and how it do it. It works marvelous. Marvelous. So, you can use pink stuff on your stove. You see, I just cleaned my, my, my stove. It's so shiny and nice. The glass right here is nice. Okay. That's the front of the stove. But I'm doing a little decoration. You know, I'm just doing a little decorate because it's fall time. And I just want to keep my colors the best way I can in my kitchen. Let's go back over here to the pink stuff. This is what I, I want to do with the pink stuff. I'm going to tell you the reason why. Let's go back to the stove. I just did my stove. Remember that ring go around your stove and be all grease and stuff? Okay, I don't I don't like that. And I'm going to tell you where it really come from. And you can't scratch your stove. You could burn out your stove. You could scratch your stove. You could burn out your stove. So every use, every time you get through using your stove, it cool off. This is what you do. You pull out your um your stove stuff. When I say stove stuff, the 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 cleaners. And I show you the cleaner what I use, and maybe you use it. Don't forget to shine all these up. You could take them knobs off. Wipe around it because everybody be touching them and they get nasty and stuff because we be cooking. Um, if you do have things sitting in the back, you know, grease or juice and stuff pop. You have to keep these clean and keep your little spoon thing clean. Just keep everything, you know, very, very clean. So when you walk back over here, we're going to talk about. That, okay, you use a pot over time, especially if you this is the only pot you have, but you never had something to clean it off with. Well, y'all, some years ago, I bought me the pink stuff, and I used my pink stuff all over the house on multiple things. You'd be surprised what you could really use it with. I'm not sponsored. Talking about the pink stuff. Okay. I buy everything with my own money. So, when you go back over here, you take some of this pink stuff. You put it on a rack like that. And you just rub it on there. And just let it sit. Right? And you'll see this here disappear. So, I'm going to do half of it. To show you the difference. And I know mocha bowl, y'all, women... Did it before and probably made videos of it. So, in in my video, I'm just showing you what I use in my kitchen. Right? Things I use. So, you, you got a little toothbrush and you got different things to use. You know, head to use it in your refrigerator, your sinks your stove um two of them came two jars two, two jars came with mine plus i bought four more and they last for a long time okay and i'm gonna show you multiple things what i use when i'm cleaning up my bathroom or the kitchen the refrigerator the deep freezer even the water dispenser and that microwave over there. Yes, yes. So everything in your kitchen you can use the pink stuff with. Just go back and clean it off on time. Okay? So that's what I do in my, in my kitchen. Now, this is what I use on my stove. If I didn't have these things, I use soap and water. If I didn't have these things, I would take a lemon Squeeze it, put some vinegar on it, and baking soda. Baking soda and lemon. Let it foam up like a, a little thick uh, paste and clean your st your stove out, your refrigerator, whatever you want to. You, because you know, lemon is strong, okay? Lemon is good for your body too. 
But that that's what I use on my stove. I do have a big old bottle of, of lemon. I mean, um, vinegar. And on top of that, instead of making another video, we're going to do it like this. Angry, angry mom is for my microwave. I got vinegar. It's sitting over there. It's a big old bottle. And put a little bit of vinegar, lemon, and some water. And turn that microwave on. Okay? And your microwave be clean. Ain't that something? So I did like, I'm doing like two videos in one to make it easy for me. Because I'm going to get off my feet today. Because I've been on my feet for a little while. Okay, last night, my feet swole up. It was hurting under the bottom. I couldn't do nothing. So, we're going to stop this video. You can like, you can share. You can uh, push thumbs up. You can leave a comment down below. And, and you can subscribe to my channel. And here goes something else you can use in your sink, your microwave, your cabinets. Okay? I have a lot of cleaning supplies for different things. In areas like even for my floors, I got everything for my floors wood, um, cement, everything for your windows, everything. Okay, so you could like, you could share, put thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and join my page. I don't get paid for my page, I have Isadia, I have um, what you call it. Mental health issues. I ain't crazy, but I got me some mental health issues, okay, y'all. I know some of y'all got them too, because everything just going crazy in the world, and a lot of things pile up, and then sometimes we have families, we have um, couples and um, lovers and best friends, and sometimes we could get out of out of out of. Out of whack with it, um, unbalanced, and you got to balance it back and all that other good stuff. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, make a long story short, just keep yourself going and flowing. And I'm always going to call on my Father God. He keep you in peace if you just have trust in yourself and believe in your faith. And have a blessed day.